project we have is on piezoelectric energy harvesters. Piezoelectric devices are those devices that can convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Because of this characteristic, these devices have been used to harvest sources of energy such as ambient vibration and convert this into energy generated to power small devices. Such devices are already commercially available. However, those that are in the market tend to function at a much nar uh, narrower frequency and at a lower efficiency than is useful for aerospace applications. So what we've done in this project is design a device that allows us to amplify the forces that are being put into the device so that the energy that's harvested from it is also amplified. We've done this and show that we're able to be better than commercial devices um, in the sense that we are four times more efficient and 100 times better in output of energy relative to force input. So what we're going to do here is demonstrate a comparison of the performance of the device that we develop versus the uh, commercially available device. When this truck turns on, it's going to vibrate so that it provides the force input to the uh, piezoelectric device. And then this device will then generate the voltage that's required to power the LED. And what we're going to try to show here is the efficiency of this system based on how quickly energy can be generated to light up the LED. So you can watch the timer and see how long it takes for when the LED lights up. So what we're going to show here now is using the same setup as the one we use for the commercial device. So we're using the truck which is vibrating at 23 hertz. That's the optimum frequency for the operation of the commercial device. It's not the optimum frequency for our device, so we have a weight added on to our device because um, ours operates at a much higher frequency. Okay, so I was done in two seconds. All right, what we're going to demonstrate now is the performance of the devices at their resonant frequency. And the resonant frequency is the optimum frequency at which they can operate. So we're going to generate vibration using this device. And to compare the performance of our device versus a state-of-the-art commercial device, what we're going to do is run a test for the same amount of time. So the timer will run to 10 seconds. And what you want to be watching is the voltage output. And the voltage output of our device should be much greater than the commercial device. And that is proportional to power because uh, power is proportional to voltage squared. So another facet of this device is we do not require very high vibration frequencies in order to generate voltage. As you can see here, we're using finger pulsing to generate voltage. It's enough voltage to power small devices from motions that come, say, from walking uh, by humans. <laughs> 